Hello, my name is Darren Zupke, and I'm here with Philippe Hannon, who is the principal bassoonist of the Orchestre Nationale de France. Today, we're going to talk about the great French bassoonist Marie Szilard, and also a little bit about how the French bassoon has changed throughout recent history. Thank you for joining me, Philippe. If you wouldn't mind, please share a little hello, bit about William. your hello. <laughs> please hello. share a little bit about yourself and um, your experience with Marie Szilard and the French bassoon. <laughs> I was lucky to to work uh, in Paris in the opera uh -huh. and, uh, and uh, uh, radio orchestras, and uh, mm -hmm. I won uh, an audition in Montpellier, the south of France. Okay, but I say only one year because uh, uh, there was another audition for the Orchestre National to play uh -huh. second basson. Okay, to play second, so I, I won it, and uh, we came back to Paris. Nice. And uh, five years after, uh, I I play for the, to to have the first position in the orchestra. You were under um, a famous conductor, Kurt Mazur. Is that correct? He was. He was yeah, there. yeah, yeah. Yes, uh, doing uh, eight years. Eight years. Yeah. And it changed. It changed uh, many things in my uh, in my life to play with Mazur. Wow. Well, of course, because he, he was a, a giant of music, especially uh, uh, German music. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> and also because uh, when he came, uh, he has never heard a French bassoon before. Wow. May, he... Maybe one time ago, but uh, and, and the, the first time we, we played with him, we played the Brahms Symphony. And I, 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 I see him uh, <laughs> too. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! And uh, I told to him, Maestro, here we play the French basson. It's like that. Yeah. Oh. But uh, I I work a lot uh, to 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 have a, to change my sonority. Right. To have a, a sonority darker and uh, more large, more the uh, more German. Did Mazur ever like threaten to have you guys change to German bassoon? Was that ever a discussion? No, he, he never asked me that. Never. Okay. He never Good. asked me. But uh, um, he saw we practiced to to change our uh, mm -hmm. sonority. But uh, anyway, when we played with him uh, uh, French music or or classical music, uh, he loved it, especially mm -hmm. in Beethoven. Yeah. For example, in Beethoven, the French basson is very, very clear, and uh, in, it's a it's a good convenient. It's good for the for he light it, and yeah. we play many 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 times. Uh, mm -hmm. Symphony Beethoven. Uh, it's even for the, uh, even for the uh, romantic and uh, no no blast. But uh, if we play a Tchaikovsky, it was great too. We, we we became friends after for a few few, <laughs> few years, but uh, I remember it was not so easy. You, you were only at the conservatoire for two years, and that's it. And you yeah, in the eighty five. So okay. it was a wow the end of uh, his, his his career Absolutely. in conservatory. <laughs> he was like a god in a, yeah. for uh, for uh, young people, mm -hmm. and not only young people, but uh, it was on, it would like that. Right. It's an iconic, iconic uh, personage. Yeah. Maurice Charles is sonority too, of course, mm -hmm. uh, as uh, all the players that at the uh, period, different mm -hmm. period, you know, after the sixties and uh, the beginning of eighties. Mm -hmm. The sound, the sounds were uh, warmer and uh, darker too, right. and larger. You know, he always have a, a special sound, his sound, and uh, mm -hmm. with uh, all his talent, uh, what the period, uh, it, it was uh, always uh, magnifique. His personality for the music. Mm -hmm. He was great musician, you know. He sing, he was singing, and and then tell a story every time, for each uh, every note. It was yeah. something 
very special. You you spoke about uh, the back uh, with uh, uh, mm. Chuck, no? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. It, it, it's, it's the best example. You know? Yes. When you play, <laughs> you play. Why not? You you, you, you wow. <laughs> See, you know, uh, he, he, um, even uh, in the in the movies, French movies, uh, sometimes you have uh, basson uh, solo, and oh, yeah. you 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 know you you. <laughs> You listen to the basson two notes, and you you can uh, realize, oh, it's Allah. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Why it's Allah? Because the the tune, the tune of the basson mm -hmm. is, is very special. Right. Very special. It's like it's... Pavarotti. When you, you when you listen Pavarotti, yeah. you you know it's Pavarotti. Mm -hmm. It's the same. He has That's a true. special tune. Yeah. Um, he has a, a constitution, a physical constitution, very very strong. Mm -hmm. And uh, 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 when uh, when he was playing, uh, the the machine was very very efficient. It was uh, I like wow. uh, uh, Maserati of Ferrari. <laughs> <laughs> very 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 efficient machine. Wow! And right. very easy to play. So Maurice yeah. Allard played with this huge sound. Uh, so. Yeah. That was what was his sound like in the opera? Like, was it very dominant, very loud, or? Of course, because <laughs> uh, because no, because his personality first, oh, I and I, I don't I don't think so. The the French basson is smaller. Uh, Maybe it's smaller now because because uh, now uh, the, the players uh, they try to to have a, a sound. Uh, Mm -hmm. to, to keep a tune correct and right. a dark sound. So right. they have to play with, with uh, very, uh, very hard. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, when uh, Allah played, no, it was so large sound because he, he, he had a read very free, mm -hmm. free. And uh, they, they, no, he, he could play a concert with an orchestra, orchestra behind him and, and, and play. Uh, with a very large sum, of course. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he, he, he worked with Albert Lotin, mm. uh, a weed maker, to make a weed absolutely compatible with the bassoon, uh, uh, 35 r okay. 35R. Yeah. And uh, uh, it, it's why Maurice could play everything with his bassoon at, at that weed, because it was really uh, osmosis, you know. Um, Even before before that, uh, people uh, bought the weeds uh, absolutely finished right. just to play. Okay. Now we we we, we put the the wires. Yeah. Yes, but uh, at, at this uh, at this time, no, they, they mm. bought in, in boxes with uh, ready to play, mm. but it was not uh, not so expensive that than uh, now. <laughs> And you, um, you've also worked a lot with Yannick Ducasse to change. Um, it's he was the maker at Selmer, and then he became his own company, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, we we worked uh, by Selmer Company together, okay. but uh, uh, at one time uh, they. We, we decided to 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 go uh, by uh, ourselves because uh, Selma uh, it, it was too difficult for a, a big company like Selma who who mm -hmm. makes uh, who make a lot of saxophone and uh, clarinets to have a small small organization for uh, yeah. for an instrument uh, mm -hmm. who is making by uh, two or three by months and uh, it was too difficult for in the the factory. It's a right. big factory with uh, 600 uh, people working. So when you worked with Yannick, you were able to make very, um, like a, a change to the instrument and then you change it again and change it again, like all within one year. Yes, yeah, so we, we worked a, a lot, a lot, a lot. Uh, but uh, one thing is very interesting, the bore of the bassoon. Mm -hmm. We, uh, we had uh, a day, uh, something bring uh, to us a hold, uh, you, you know, a, a, a bore to, to make the bore of the instrument. Uh -huh. 
Yeah. In metallic, metallic. It's like a from drill. Kabar. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, from Kabar. Kabar is oh. an old mark, mm -hmm. uh, French mark. Right. And uh, and we saw that uh, the, the, this pairs, this bore, uh, was the same than the old Ekel. Oh, interesting. It was the same bore. Hmm. Wow. So we we take the, we we took this bore, this tube. Mm -hmm. With a, a French system, with the, the holes to, to have the, the finger is adapted with French system and uh, you, the, the bell uh, closed. Uh -huh. And uh, we, we, we keep the Ekel crook. Mm. It's the same. Yeah, yeah. And it works. <laughs> you see? Yeah. How it's long. That's how. You know, uh, he, he had a very large uh, uh, capacity of uh, mm. taking hair, taking his breath, very large uh, uh, corpulence. Yeah. And uh, he can play for a long time like that. This is a live recording. <laughs> it's perfect. He, uh, <laughs> it's only one, one, one prise, when, uh, one take, yeah. One wow. take only. Yeah. It just makes me laugh. It's and so crazy. everybody kill, kill uh, himself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just you amazed, know the perfection. But... Yeah. The perfection of the, the staccato. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Yes. And, yes. And, and, and so you, you, you can imagine the, the board, the basson is uh, mm. it's tight. what we, we say. It's very straight and very, very uh, small. Uh -huh. The ball is so small to, to have a perfection like that is the right. staccato. And because it's small, it's um, the air pressure, like you were saying, Absolutely. is so, so great. Yeah. And that's why it's just, you know. And, and you can't have uh, this precision. Yeah. yeah. And it, it leads the orchestra, you know, mm -hmm. when they, <laughs> it comes to, to play the isolate one, though, it, it leads. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. The, 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 the first bar, you know, ta -ta 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 -ti. yeah, uh, it's a question with an answer. Ta -ta 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 -ti. Why? Oh, oh, because of, you know. And, and uh, I think it's so you, 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 elegant, you know, it's just, he's just, he's got way. such a nice flexibility and it's very sophisticated. Uh, it, it, it was like that. He, he was a man, an elegant man every time. Very when cool. he played like that, pop, 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 pop. and the, the staccato is a very busy weight. Yeah. Pa, 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 pa. He, he don't play like he, he was uh, speaking. And that's... 
And the last notes are always longer. Ah. Uh, for example, the, the uh, bef two before four, the yeah. croche. Da, 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 Yes, yeah. Every time, every time he's singing like a tenor. And I love that. Um, I think there's something that you can't really get on the German bassoon, or it's, it's not as uh, easy, is when you have certain notes like that G and the A flat, um, you can, they're very easy to blow into, and it's very clear sounding on the French bassoon, where we just have to kind of like fight it a little bit to get it <laughs> to mean... ring, but it's... Um, I love those notes on the French bassoon. They're beautiful. Yeah. You know, the, the holes of the instrument are uh, smaller. Uh -huh. So uh, the, it, it's, uh, the air is, is coming uh, very faster. Ah. And you have to, to, to put more air, more energy in the instrument. But it, it, it speaks like uh, if you play a, a clarinet oh, or oboe, right. it's, it's yeah. smaller. Time. The timing is perfect. Yes. He didn't play ta 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 or ta ta ta. He played perfectly ta 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 ta. Each time, every time, mm -hmm. every time. And then there's some. He, I think he has some flexibility in the in the rhythm sometimes in a phrase. Like he'll play a little rushed, and then it kind of comes back. Like it's not always exactly with. The orchestra but i think it's um it's a good thing like he has that kind of like nervous energy um yeah. that i think is on purpose it's intentional i think you know i was gonna um i think so many people that don't know a lot about the french bassoon um think well it's it's very easy to play french concerto on French bassoon, but what they don't realize is that the fingerings are so much harder, actually, because they're so much more complicated on the French bassoon. Yes, and not, uh, because of, uh, we, we can't play uh, on this bassoon the Baroque fingerings. Okay. Uh, 
the, for example, the, the C sharp, you can mm -hmm. play like that, right. two and one. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. And uh, in this piece, we 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 use it uh, uh, frequently. Ta -ta -la -ta -la -la -ta -la. Uh, even uh, the, the, you, you can play the C sharp like that. Oh, wow. It plays it, and uh, it's the same. It's the same for the A uh, A flat, oh. uh, C bemol, uh, fourth, like like uh, the, right. the baroque uh, mm -hmm. on, on the right hand. Right. It's because uh, it's because of uh, it ever want to play. Uh, a second key for uh, all the thumb for the, the A flat mm -hmm. because he, he used he used this uh, figuring. I love this recording. The first time I listened to it, it just completely blew my mind. It was, uh, I thought this must be the most difficult concerto that any bassoonist has ever had to play, <laughs> and he plays it perfectly live. And I didn't even know. Yeah, live, yeah, absolutely live. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for talking with me. It's it's great to see you. I haven't seen you're you in welcome, about a year. You're welcome. I hope uh, you 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 will be uh, well for uh, this time uh, difficult times. Yes. And uh, to to see us uh, again uh, in uh, twenty one. Yeah, so maybe in France. <laughs> <laughs> I would love that. Yeah. Um, okay, David. Okay, thank you so much, Philippe. A bientôt. A bientôt. Au revoir, David. Au revoir.